Hi everyone. This uh, quick screencast will be about the binomial expansion. So imagine we have two terms, a plus b, uh, to the power of, say, 2. Now, we probably know that that's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. What about a plus b cubed? That's a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared. Oops, that's not a b. Plus b cubed. And these are both examples of binomial expansion. Now, we would like to be able to, uh, to generalise this, and we can. So we can have a plus b. It's important that there's only two terms here inside the brackets. That's the by part of binomial to the power of n. n's any positive integer. So, uh, as you might guess, the first term is a to the power of n. Actually, let me do that again with uh, n c0 a to the power of n b to the power of 0, just to be a bit more complete. Now, n c0 does equal 1, and b to the power of 0 equals 1, so it is the same as what I, <coughs> what I said a moment ago. Then we move on to n c1 a to the power of n minus 1 b to the power of 1. Uh, we continue on like this nc0, nc1, nc2, uh, etc. And notice the power of on a goes from n to n minus 1, it reduces. The power on b starts at 0, goes to 1, goes to 2, 3, etc. It increases. And we continue like this until we would end with ncn. By this stage, a would be at the power of 0 and b would be at the power of n. And that is how we do a binomial expansion. Now, the coefficients, these nc0s, nc1s, etc., sometimes people talk about uh, using Pascal's triangle, and that can be done, of course. The thing with Pascal's triangle is you have to keep on working all the way down to get the row of the triangle that you need. <laughs> If you use combinations, nc0 is 1, ncn is n, uh, and so forth. You can jump straight to the row that you need. So shall we do a quick example? Let's do a quick example. Won't make it too arduous. Let's go um, a plus 2b to the power of 4. So it's 4. C0, then the first term, to the power of 4, then the second term, and it's all of that, to the power of 0. Then it's 4, C1, it would now be to the power of 3, the second term would be to the power of 1. 4, C2, A would now be to the power of 2, and the second term. Then 4c3. a would now be to the power of 1. 2b would be cubed, almost there. Then 4c4. We know we're finished because the number at the bottom equals the number at the top. a to the power of 0. 2b to the power of 4. Now we better simplify this. 4c0 equals 1, a to the fourth, and anything to the power of 0 equals 1. 4c1 equals 4, a cubed by 2b. Uh, 4c2, now I might have to go across to the side here a little bit. 4c2 equals 4 factorial over 4, take 2 factorial by 2 factorial. That's 4 by 3 by 2 by 1. 
4 take 2 is 2 factorial, that's 2 by 1. And that other 2 factorial is also 2 by 1. So I can cross those out. I get 4 threes, that's 12, divided by 2. So this is 6. 4c2 is 6. Then a squared. Now 2 squared is 4. And of course b squared. 4c3. Well, we could go to the side and do it again, but I know that it comes to 6. You could work it out. a to the power 1. 2 cubed is 8. And b is cubed. Then 4c4 is 1. a to the power 0 is 1. 2 to the power 4 is 16. b to the 4th. We're nearly done. So 1 by 1 by a to the 4th is a to the 4th. Plus... 2 times 4 is 8, a cubed times b, 6 times 4 is 24, a squared, b squared, 6 eighths are 48, a times b cubed, plus 1 by 1 by 16 is 16, b to the fourth. And that is an example of the binomial expansion. Thanks for watching.